I find fingerstyle to be more challenging than standard playing guitar as you're using the guitar as a drum, hitting harmonics and also playing the guitar like a piano at the same time. Well, I started learning fingerstyle guitar about two and a half years ago. First year I completely secluded myself. So I just sat at home every day for 10 hours a day playing the guitar trying to get some kind of grasp on it because as much as I thought it was impossible, I thought if I stuck at it I could get it in the end. Well, artists like John Gomm and Andy McKee were a big influence on me taking up fingerstyle. What they were doing on the guitar was revolutionary. Andy McKee took it up after seeing the man who actually started fingerstyle, Michael Hedges, play live at a concert and Andy put down the electric guitar and lifted up the acoustic and has never really put it down since. So I seen what they were doing and thought, right, I'm sick of playing just standard guitar. I want to try and go outside the box like Andy and John have done. So uh, every day I'm just trying to get as good as them boys. Now I would practice maybe five, six hours a day. So maybe like 35 hours between Monday and Friday. I always try and get in at least 40 hours a week, try and make it like a full-time job so as uh, I can progress and my career can progress also. I thought I'm going to have to actually record something to put out for the people. I recorded it all off my own back. My father helped uh, with some of the balls because I just could never have afforded it. Gentleman's way, I'd say. Uh, my daughter actually was dancing around the kitchen a few days ago. The EP I've just recorded, bless her. She's all buzzed with it. I've definitely made sacrifices in learning fingerstyle guitar in lots of areas of my life, I would say. But um, hopefully I can make it up to everyone in the future once I'm successful, fingers crossed. If I had to leave Derry to further my career, then I would, but it wouldn't be a permanent thing as my family, friends, and heart are in Derry City. My hopes for the future would be to be successful enough to be able to pay the bills with my music, um, give my daughter everything she wants and just play, just play three, four nights a week to people that respect the music. <laughs>